Peggy 3. You're watching another episode of The Boot Room. I'm Matt Cuttle. This is Match Magazine's Darren Cross. And this week, we're looking at a whole game of FIFA 14 to see how the improvements actually affect the game itself. Darren, how are you finding the game so far? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it, especially um, using the new features, uh, which you'll see some of in the game that we played. Indeed, we will. The highlights are coming up right now. So let's go over to the commentators, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, given the way these two teams are related in the table, the home side can take the title itself with a victory in this match. Cassialdi! There's still a chip, and he goes for goal with his head. The ball gets to here. Got to be. Olivier Giroud. Opportunity here, in with a chance. And he heads it for goal. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. And he goes for goal. So those were the highlights. Not many for me, as usual, Darren. Four goals scored in the first half. Talk us through the first one. Yeah, first one was from a corner. Um, I've gone for the in-swinger, um, so you can see me change from a left-footed player to a right-footed player so that I can swing it in right on the edge of the six-yard box, which is a corner that I liked a lot in, in FIFA 13. Now, you called this an ugly goal when you scored it, and I, unfortunately, didn't select the correct player to begin with, did I? Yeah, if you see on the replay, um, one of your players begins to run in, and then as I change to my uh, right-footed player, you select a player that's further away, and then you've got a bigger distance to cover, so you, you just don't get into the box in time. What well, would have been better if you'd um, used the right stick to select a player nearer to my striker so that you could have um, challenged for the ball a bit better. Now let's move on to the second goal. It's actually one that I'd scored, which I'm fairly proud of, but it was quite a simple one. It was just a through ball, wasn't it? Yeah, but what you did really well was you identified the run of your striker off the ball. And, and as we've said before, strikers do make better runs in attack in FIFA 14. And I think you spotted yours early and you played a, a well-timed through ball and I just couldn't react quick enough to get a defender in the way and then uh, once you're one-on-one -on -one with the keeper um, he stuck it away, it was a great finish. Now we say don't overuse sprint but throughout that move when my striker got onto the ball I did hold sprint down in order to get past you and finish. Yeah it was the right thing to do there, it made the difference. I think if I'd been a, a little bit closer to your striker I would have tried to make contact either with a pull and hold or um, using left trigger to protect the ball, it's anything to sort of slow him down a little bit and give me a chance to make a tackle. Now we have seen that as well, you have used that effectively against me in other times in the game where I was through on goal, you just pulled me back a bit. Yeah, pull and hold, yeah, it's a feature I really like. Obviously you've got to be careful, you can't um, do it too often or for too long because the referee will punish you, but there, I think there was one key moment in the game when uh, you would have got in and, and, and scored and um, I just managed to, to pull you back a little bit with the defender and, and it made a difference. So it was one all there, now talk me through your second goal because to be honest, you threw me a sucker punch there, really, didn't you? You had me for a right fall. Well, it's one of the things that um, I try to do when I'm building an attack and, and, and that's um, make you think that I'm going to do something and, and then do something else. And I think in this case, the way that I turned with the ball, it looked like I was going to play uh, to the player to the right of, of the guy in possession. And then it was just a reverse uh, through pass to the guy on the left and that's what opened up the space. Firstly, because he'd made the run, uh, the guy on the left. And secondly, because uh, your defenders anticipated me going the other way. Um, so there's a big gap there. And then it was just a case of uh, diving header to finish. Now we'll move on to the third goal that you scored in just a minute, but let's talk about some of the build-up play that you did as well, because uh, you were very patient and you kept your, your players basically between the ball and my defenders, which means I couldn't really get it off you. That's right, yeah, I mean, it's something we've talked about um, in earlier shows and the, the need to sort of uh, have a, a more patient build-up, and that's really because, like, like I said before, the players move a bit smarter off the ball, so you have a lot more opportunities to, to move the ball around, and, and by doing that you uh, affect the shape of the, the defending team because they're sort of following the ball and tracking it um, all over the pitch. And a lot of things are happening there, you know, I'm playing really simple passes, you know, there's nothing too flash in there, it's just I'm playing the way that I'm facing and I'm keeping the ball and steadily advancing. And as you said, um, keeping my body between the ball and the defender. Um, just to sort of make it even more difficult for you to, to win it back. So this is a fairly new feature, well it's a brand new feature in FIFA 14, it's protect the ball, so that's left trigger when you're in possession of the ball and that turns your player to basically shield the ball with his body, doesn't Exactly, it? yeah, it puts the, your player's body between uh, the opposition defender and the ball, um, so you just become a physical barrier really, you're, just, you, you're in the way. And, it, and it's a really useful feature, for, um, particularly if it looks like you're going you're gonna to run it too far or you're going to lose the ball, if you hit protect the ball often your player will sort of um, get in front and, and you, you can manage to keep it and start again. Right, let's move on to the the third goal that you scored. This is a shot from quite far out and it really did take me by surprise. Yeah, I, th I think I got um, slightly fortunate in that, um, again, I think you anticipated me um, running a little bit further before I took the shot, which you can see with your defender back, backs off slightly 
and uh, that just allows me the space to uh, get it onto my player's strong foot and having to know that he's a very good uh, shooter from distance and uh, yeah, fortunately it went in the top corner. Right, we're going to leave it there but before we go, I just want you to explain that one move you kept doing which is the stop and turn or some people like to call it the turn and spin. Yeah, it's a move that, that I really like and uh, you do it by basically pushing the right stick in the direction that you're running and then up or down depending on which way you want to spin and as long as you're using a four star player, you'll do that move and the reason that I like it is because as you spin, again, it puts your body between the defender and the ball so not only are you moving past them but you're, you're effectively making it really difficult for them to, to tackle because you're between them and the ball so um, it's, it's a really really good move and it works particularly well when you're running parallel with the defender. Great well we've briefly covered a few topics there in this episode of the boot room but next time we're going to go into more detail about one of those topics and that is it's dribbling we're going to look at um, some ways to uh, effectively beat your marker in 2014. Excellent I look forward to that don't forget in the meantime you can check out Darren every week in Match Magazine don't forget to check out their Facebook page also details are down there we'll see you next time on the boot room. Thank you.